dual heat exchangers. This guy has a question regarding dual heat exchanger systems. He plans on running a Burger Motorsports heat exchanger and a Mishimoto heat exchanger as well. And he wants to know if it'll actually make a difference. You know, theoretically, you should be running a colder charge air temperature since you're adding a second heat exchanger and you adapt both of them to each other. So if you think about it, the, what is it? The BMS Burger Motorsports in, uh, heat exchanger is mounted more further away from the radiator so it gets less what is it um radiant engine bay heat compared to what is the mishimoto heat exchanger which is closer to the radiator which gets more heat so yeah you should technically get a colder charge intake temperature with that setup i wish there was more people talking about this topic i want to know the difference between like the the flow the heat transfer and even the presser drop that would be very important to know but for some reason it's not a very popular topic but it's interesting how nobody's really talking about that like on these youtube pages and everything i mean the forums probably do but it's really hard to get information regarding anything with the vr30 that's exactly why i make this content but my final concern and possible thought that i'll be thinking from the top of my head regarding putting dual heat exchangers is what's going on with the flow like what's going on with the flow rate because if you have a like a regular lux or something i i believe we have only one coolant pump so how are you flowing all that coolant consistently like how are you getting all that pressurized coolant to the intercooler just one water pump would you not need to upgrade to a secondary intercooler water pump that's something that i'm thinking like i don't know i don't know bro but let me know how it goes